the Joey guitar right here on YouTube and today we've got a kind of a chicken pickany kind of almost a Waylon Jennings cool country lick sounds really good with a electric guitar with a phaser going through it really cool lick um, and this one's gonna involve a lot of uh, I guess some people call them ghost notes or dead notes uh, it involves when you're playing a note you pick the string but you mute the string with either a finger down here or all your fingers or something like that everyone kinda has their own style of doing it uh, you probably talk to five different people and they'll all tell you a different way so just kinda figure out what's comfortable for you but all it is it's just like that it's just a note that you pick and you just don't let the string vibrate you don't let it ring out um, the lick is in D and uh, let's just show it to you here's how it goes just like that Another thing I wanted to mention, the way I'm doing this, I'm using what I've always heard called a hybrid picking technique or picking style where you use a pick, but you also use your other fingers to pick other strings. Um, a lot of the country players, the chicken pickers, use that kind of style. It helps you out with double stops and with some of these dead notes and everything as well. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your pick on the fifth string, just kind of slide in to the... Uh, ninth fret, excuse me, on the fifth string with your third finger is what I would recommend. Just like that. Right there. You can slide in from the fifth fret or the seventh. I just kind of gradually apply pressure to the string. Slide in from somewhere down here. And then you want to pick your third string, seventh fret. I'm doing it with my second finger. You can pick it with whatever finger you want. Um, so you want to slide in pick that third string on the seventh fret and then after that the way I'm doing is I'm taking my pick you want to deaden the strings here pick a dead note on the fourth string and another one on the fifth string remember that's just those two strings you pick the strings but you mute them so they don't vibrate they don't make any sound that rings out they just kind of a click so you've got right there next part you're going to come down and hit your third string, fifth fret with your first finger, and then you want to do that same dead note on the fourth string, the same one on the fifth string, just like that. And then you want to come down to the fourth fret, third string, pick that note, and then hit the dead note on the fourth string, and then you want to come down to the third string, second fret, hit another note there, and then deaden that fourth string as a dead note as well. And then after that, well, let me just show you how that goes so far. If you want to, just kind of depending on what you're playing and the timing of the, of the tune you're playing this, this lick with, you can put a dead note at the end there. I think I told you to do that. You don't have to do it. You can if you want to. Just kind of feel out the song that you're playing. Every song's a little bit different. And then at the very end, you're going to come down here on the fourth string, third fret with your second finger and also put your first finger on the second fret fourth string and you want to do like a double pull off you want to pull off your third fret to the second fret and then pull that one off to open so you're going three two open on the fourth string and then come up with your first finger to the second fret on the fifth string pick that note and pull it off to open just like that and then hit your fourth string open just like that and then you can follow it with a D chord if you like so I'm going to show you the lick slowly a couple times. Okay, one more time. Now I'm going to speed it up for you a couple times. One more time. And if you want to, you can even add something else in there. I'm going to take this up to a, a D minor uh, pentatonic scale up here. I'm going to pull a or kind of a short lick out of there. Just kind of gives it a cool bluesy way of tying it all together. You're going to come up here. You're going to take your pinky and bar it across the first and second strings on the 13th fret. Just pick those two strings. And you want to come down with your first finger to the, the 10th fret on the third string. Take that note and just gradually bend it up just a little bit, not even a, a half step. And then we're 
we're going to end up on the fourth string, 12th fret with your third finger. Hit that note, pull it off to the 10th fret, fourth string. Okay, so right there. And then hit your fifth string on the 12th fret, and then your fourth string, 10th fret, and then the fourth string, 12th fret. Right there, one more time. Okay, so we want to put all two of them together, both of them together. So that about does it for today's lick. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and most definitely send in some requests if you want to hear something about a, uh, a blues lick or a country lick or a rock and roll lick or something like that that you haven't already seen. Go ahead and uh, shoot us a comment about that, request it, or an email. Uh, thanks a lot. That's the lick for today. Y'all enjoy it.